Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill rack daily challenge using two logics. For the first one, we will not use any inbuilt functions and it can be used in any programming language like C. And for the second one is by using built-in functions in Python. There are inbuilt functions in Java too. First, we will understand our question. We have to accept x and y integers and then print the numbers from x to y which have at least one zero in it. We have also given a note that if there is no such number in, it, in the range, then we are going to print minus 1. The question is simple, right? Now let us consider with an example. Our x will be 98 and y is 125. The numbers between 98 to 125 are 98, 99, 100 and up to 125. So now we will check for the numbers containing zeros and print it as, print it as our output. So the output will be 100 as these numbers contain zeros in it. 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, and we'll have 110. Then we'll also have 120, which contains 10. So 120. So this will be our output. Now let us consider for our another example where x is 1351 and y is 1358. The numbers are 1352, 1353, 1354, 1355, 1356, 1357, 1358. So you clearly see that there is no zero between the numbers so we will print minus 1 as our output let us implement our program as I said previously we are going to use two logics to solve this program the first logic without using the inbuilt functions we will get our inputs x and y using the map function Then we'll initialize the flag variable equal to 1. It remains as 1 when at least 1 0 is not present in any of the number. Then we'll use a for loop to get the values from x to y. Then we'll use a if to check for the zeros using this has zero function. Then we will print the value and use the end argument and we will change the flag variable as 0. Now if flag is equal to equal to 1, we have to print minus 1. If our condition satisfy and we are printing the value, then the flag variable changes to 0, then this will not be executed. If our condition doesn't satisfy, then flag will be equal to equal to 1, then we will print minus 1. So now we will define the has 0 function, has 0 of num while num greater than 0 if num modulo 10 
equal to equal to zero then we have to return true then we'll modify num and we'll return false let us consider our test case 102 as our num which is greater than 0 and num modulo 10 that is 2 is not equal to 0 so we will modify our num it becomes 10 where we have 0 and it will return true this will be true consider our next test case 11 where 1 is not equal to 0 so it will be modified becomes 1 then which is also not equal to 0 and becomes 0 which doesn't satisfy our while condition so it will return false let us execute our program our inputs of x and y are given and we clearly see that the number containing zeros are printed then we'll execute our program for our next inputs we have got minus one as there are no zeros present between them then we'll solve this program using the built-in functions Now the if will be modified becomes 0 in str of value that is we are going to convert this value into str as this in cannot be used for the int. So we will check for zeros and print the value we will execute we will give our input here we clearly see that we got the same output then for our next test case we have got minus 1 hope you understand thanks for watching see you in next video